Hi and welcome to this video. What I would like to do is, <coughs> I've got an old set of batteries here. I've got some old Makitas hanging around. And the thing is, with the years, the batteries, they last shorter and shorter. Even the 4.0 ampere hours, they don't last that long anymore. And especially if I use the angle grinder, is maybe dead in 30 minutes 40 minutes so therefore I really would like to try out how to make a cordless to cord solution there are some videos out there on YouTube many of them actually but the only thing which I didn't find yet is the older version of the Makitas they have two pins plus and minus and the newer ones they have three pins I mean there is obviously plus and minus and there's some kind of control so I can't what I already tried I can't connect the wire directly to these pins I really have to go through the battery because inside of the battery you will find the plus and the minus and this third little curious uh, part which we will sort out later all right let's try it out I've got a voltage meter here, gives me 18 volts and then I connected the wires directly to the machine, plus and minus, be careful this is DC, so the pins have to be on the right side, otherwise it will not work. Also it's just Gleichstrom, huh? so you see, it really works good. And now we will try the same thing, same setting over there with the newer versions, huh? plus and minus. The third one is free and the lovely thing is not working. So therefore we have to open the battery, go through the battery and then wire it up and hopefully we have the result we are expecting. There is one more thing, they sell these small batteries it is 1.3 amperes hours they sell these on amazon as a package but these we just can't work by like maybe an hour or two as the 4.0s they're much expensive and you can work much longer so i will open a cheap one which is already dead from the winter and then we will see how it goes there's another makita specialty the angle grinder and all the bigger and newer versions, they only work with the big batteries. <laughs> and the small ones, they don't even fit the battery holder. So I had a look. And they are built exactly the same, three pins, the same holder. But on the left hand, they have a small groove here. So I will take this out so that this small battery will fit in here and then we will open it, try to wire it and hopefully we will have the result we are hoping for. So as you can see this was a quick fix, just grind it this angle up and now it is working. Exact perfect. So this is the battery pack here. The housing. And here we are. Alright, so what we did is, 
You took up the battery, the battery is gone. This is just to test if the wiring is okay and if my theory is going to work. Doesn't look pretty, but it hasn't do. So I wired up the plus and the minus. Plus is red. Minus is black. Then got my lovely thing here, 18 volts, and I just try to push that in. Magic! It works. Let's try on the angle grinder. Alright, so we have the result, what we are looking for. The drill is working, angle grinder is working, and I just have to clean this up, because this is not the Swiss way, I really want it to look nice. So I have to get smaller wires, I'm gonna wire it up, I'm gonna close the, the battery pack, and then we will see what else we're gonna do. But for now on, this is great, this is really good. All right, so this is the end result, which looks pretty good. That's the old original Makita battery pack, which is empty at the inside. Only, I only kept the electrical part. I've got a strong wire. At the end, I've got a low voltage plug. Because of safety reasons, at the first thought, I wanted to use like a normal Swiss plug. But the thing is, if my children or anybody else is here, they just plug it in wherever they found to 240 so this would not turn out that well so therefore always think safety first then I've got my lovely AC to DC converter to 18.7 volt or I actually measured the voltage on a charged battery is 19 I hope you, see, you guys can see this on the screen so I've got here 18.7 should turn out, now it's not charged. Yeah, 18.7 so that's okay. So let's try it out. That's one of the newer versions with the three plugs. Get it in. And over here you actually see whenever it's running you see the amperature. The amperature you don't see that well. Alright, let's test the angle grinder. I also can change the voltage. So it takes about 12 and There is one more thing I would like to let you know. I thought I was a clever guy, but it wasn't that clever idea. I bought this Amazon plug where you actually can change the voltage, output voltages. And this little thing at 18 volt only delivers 1.2 amperes. So this is not enough as we saw. The drills, maybe they are around 1.6. The angle grinder needs 5.5. Amp amps. So this thing is much too weak. If you ever would like to do this at home, I recommend to get one of these um, little friends there. AC to DC converter there. You are much more flexible, you can change voltages and as well you can fine tune the amperature. Alright, that was it. Thanks for watching and see you next episode.